G'day, my name's Phil Zilstroy. Work for National Parks in Jindabyne, which is in the Snowy Mountains part of uh, southern, southeastern Australia. And I work in the fire unit here. And uh, my main work is involved in researching bushfire behaviour and in basically fighting fires and working out our strategies of, of how we're going to fight future fires. Yeah, Australia doesn't have a lot of very high mountains, so this area is pretty unique in Australia. We have um, the highest mountain on mainland Australia. Uh, there's a lot of species that occur here that don't occur anywhere else in the country. And, um, we have our largest area of, of alpine country, which is mountains that are too high for trees to grow on them. Fire has been quite uncommon through the mountains for a long part of history and as the weather warms and, the, uh, and we get less rainfall in the mountains the effects on the vegetation here will carry through to um, the effects on fire as well. We'll find that as we go without much of the winter snowfall uh, coming into the fire season the soils will be much drier and the plants will also be much drier which means that they'll catch fire much more easily. So we're expecting that uh, as well as having warmer temperatures that uh, allow fires to spread more often, when they do come it's quite possible that those fires will be much more intense fires. A lot of the latest work says that by about the year 2050 we may have very little snow falling in the mountains here at all. Uh, which is going to be a huge change because a lot of the small mammals in the area rely on having a good snow cover which they live under during the winter. Uh, losing that snow cover may also mean that we lose something up to around 200 species of alpine plants that don't occur anywhere else in the country. We're already seeing some changes in fire in the mountains which may very well be due to climate change. It's, it's always hard to say that for sure, but they are fitting with the predictions. We're getting a lot of fires this summer, burning in areas that were burnt just four years ago. Due to European settlement and land management, we found that there is a lot less alpine ash forest in the mountains now than there was before Europeans came into the area. So that small remnant that we have is going to be very difficult to defend now as global warming causes increased frequency of fires. Climate change is already having a big impact and will have a much bigger impact on my work and the work of people around me here at National Parks.